now we have configuration type and configuration event in the product field they are like very important to understand a little confusing as well so let's pay full attention to understand like what exactly they do so first one is allowed and always so in allowed and always what happens is there is product selection where we select the product then we have configure product where we can configure product the screen comes and then we can edit code so in this case what happens is that after configuring the product we can edit code and then if if we want to reconfigure we can come back let's see we will understand that in better way so i come here i am in the projector let me click on add product so for now i am on all out and always which is the first one all out and always now in this what will happen is like let me select as projector so that is the first frame and that is the product selection then once i click on select i go come to configure product see i come to configure products and then once i click on for example product screen and product bulb like i just do select these two and click on save i come on edit code and i can just see product screen and product bulb not the ceiling one and if i want to make the change like i want to add another one how can i do that i will be click on reconfiguring line and that will again take me to a configure product so see product selection configure product edit code and then it will redirect you to configure product and you can do it as many times as possible like if you want to add you want to remove whatever you want to do it can be possible second is allow an editor what it will do it will show you product selection configure product edit code but here the difference is from product selection you will directly go to edit code configure product will not come for the first time next time how many times you click on this icon you will be able to go to configure product so let's go here here what is the option we have we have allowed and editor click on save now let's refresh it so what we said that the second screen after product selection for configure product should not come let's see for the first time so i click on projector and then i click on select see it directly takes me to edit code but now if i click on reconfigure line it will come back and let me do it and then i can do as many times as possible okay let me click on save again it will take me to this screen correct now the third one is disabled and blank here it will directly take me to edit code but it will not let me re reconfigure it's like one time shot we select the product the options and then you are in the edit code there is no icon to go back here that is disabled and blank so i come here i click on edit i click on disabled i click on blank this is already blank click on save add product projector select see edit code and there is no range icon you are done one thing you go and it's no more available and for this allowed and add see allowed and always allowed and add difference is that it lets you add but only one time then it doesn't let you reconfigure again so if i go here i click on edit i click on allowed and then add so one time we will be getting option of 
product configuration but not again so let me click on refresh add product projector select here i get configure product see one time and then click on save now you're done now if you want to reconfigure as in again go back to the configure product you will not get that option that is allow then add now that we are clear with that particular field we have something called option layout now what is that if i go to product we have something called option layout so right now it is none so when it's none let's go here and put it as tabs and see how it works see here in the configure product you are seeing tab other options right now it is coming as other options because you don't have any feature if you have there were features to it then the, that that would be have been coming something of this sort see this like they have computer and then they have features like processor memory storage so by tab they can keep on selecting then we have wizard wizard what will happen is like you will be getting like you can choose uh, go to next page and like that you can work on like for example in processor there are many of them so you can select so here we have tab being selected if i click on wizard sections is like that. now we will go to wizard and click refresh Add project. Click select. See, you will get this. If there were like more uh, ones, you could have seen there. So it's like one of one. So that's how it comes. And third, the the other last one is section. Section is like I've already selected here. So in this section, you can simply see other options. It's just like nothing but the feature. And inside that, you will be able to see. So these are um, three options layout, tab, wizard, and section. Then we have one more field that is option selected met selection method. So we have add and click. So if I click here, here, we have add like product option selection method let's go here so we have click by default let me change to add and click on save let's uh, refresh add product projector select see we are getting add option here instead of click which we were getting earlier and it's just a different ui and then we can just simply select here we can select basically like this so this is add for us 